Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. It is time. It is time today for us to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. Because when we are able to live with our minds focused on what God says is true about us and about himself and about the world that we live in, the people around us, we are able to live lives that actually look like Jesus Christ because they are fueled by Jesus Christ and his way of thinking. My name is Kerry Green. If you're new to The Morning Mindset, welcome. I am thankful you are here. I would love to hear your stories of how The Morning Mindset has impacted your life. Please, please let me know. It's encouraging. It keeps me going. You can send a quick email to me at Kerry, C-A-R-E-Y, at KerryGreen.com. I would love to hear your story and interact with you a bit. Let's get into our content for today. We've been going through a book called Humility, and it actually has a subtitle. I believe it is The Secret of Holiness, and it's by an author named Andrew Murray, who lived in the 1800s. I believe he died in the early 1900s. He was a pastor in South Africa and wrote this book, among many others. But this book is one of those that has touched my life in such deep ways, and I couldn't recommend it enough. The topic we're talking about today is a chapter that he is entitled Humility and Sin, which in one sense go together very well because it is our sin that often drives us to realize how needy we really are. It is when we struggle with the same continuing pattern of sin or when we once again are confessing a sin to God that we recognize that we need him so desperately in order to live a life that is honoring to him. But Andrew Murray approaches this, yes, he mentions it that way, but he approaches it in a slightly different way, as is often the case. He points out that the Apostle Paul, who referred to himself as the chief of sinners, often says that it is God's overwhelming grace to him in spite of his sin that drives him to a place of humility. Now stop and think about that for a moment. It reminds me of one of my favorite movies that has come on the scene in modern days. It's the reworked version of Pride and Prejudice that stars Keira Knightley. And it's not really that movie in particular that is making the point that I'm about to uh, point out to you, but it is the story itself written by Jane Austen. The story is about a woman who, despite her best, uh, <laughs> her best inclinations, uh, falls in love with a very rich and pompous man. But it turns out in the course of the story that she discovers she has her own prejudices and pride as well. It's not just the pompous man who has the issue. And here's a spoiler alert if you've never seen the movie or you've never read the book. What winds up happening in the story is that this man does some very dramatic things to help her, and in particular members of her family, out of his love for her. So he was loving her kind of in his own heart as well. And in his own way, he does these dramatic things. And she is humbled from her state of pride by recognizing the degree to which he has gone to help her family. That is what causes her to notice that he is more than just this pompous exterior. There is this deep, caring, sensitive, and even self-sacrificing heart within him that is directed toward her. Now, of course, when we speak of Jesus Christ and God the Father and what they have done to redeem us, it is a very different circumstance. There is no pride involved or no pompousness involved. And yet, that's the point that Andrew Murray drives home in this chapter is that when we look at the degree of sin that God has been self-sacrificingly devoted to us in spite of, that he has overcome by being self-sacrificing, maybe that's a better way to say it, we are driven to a place of humility and it's a place of ongoing humility because every time we think of how sinful we were and yet how forgiven we are, humility is where we want, we wind up finding ourselves. Join me again tomorrow as we continue talking about humility on The Morning Mindset.